it's starting to snow here in beautiful Michigan. Okay, so we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Or if you agree with me, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. The snow. I feel like the older I get, the colder I get. Welcome to the winter. But in this video, I wanna show you an idea, a little option, how you, my friends, can buy some real estate, commercial real estate, something like this with, guess what? No money down. I found something out recently. I wanna share it with you. But hey, also, if you hate the cold weather, go ahead and hit the like button. Show me that you hate it too. I don't like it. I need a vacation soon. I need to be down somewhere with some palm trees, some nice weather. I need to get a tan. That's the plan. Hopefully coming soon. Who knows? But before I get into ah, the secret that I found, listen, I've been doing real estate for about mm, seven years now, and I just found something out. I wanna share it with you, but this is an update here. So real quick, I said I wanna give a property update. I posted a video about two weeks ago, and that video was our biggest deal that we we're about to do. So we're looking to close on it next week, next week and a couple updates on closing it. So this space that I'm walking around with, with this little tripod camera in my hand, this, we are hoping to get a restaurant in here. Yes, my friends, a restaurant. I'm actually meeting with somebody in about an hour, and this is gonna be like our, I don't know, seventh negotiation, I think, or something like that. Uh, so we'll see. By the time you're seeing this video, it's either gonna be a yes, or a no we'll see how it goes but we're meeting with architects to get some renderings we need to get some drawings we got to talk to uh, some construction people we've already toured this space with some construction people and we're getting close you know if we get this tenant locked in that basically means we are ready to rock then the only thing we have to do is get an apartment ready upstairs uh, you know make some minor improvements find a renter we talk to the person who's below us. We got somebody on the ground level renting. That tenant is locked in. They're loving it, they're happy. And we also have another apartment that's already rented out on the other side. So if we get this space, this space in here, if we get this, guess what? Fully occupied. Then we move on to the next building behind me, right? That building is a little bigger, that one, I think it's about 30 plus thousand square feet. I'll give an update on that one later. But let's get into the content of why you clicked probably the thumbnail uh, about this little secret, not secret, but it's a strategy. We'll call it strategy. I'm just gonna get into the content. Let me give you this little strategy if you're new to uh, commercial real estate. So something that I didn't um, really look into or know too much was this idea, and this is something we're doing with this deal. So uh, we basically have three buildings. We are parceling two of the properties. One of the properties we're gonna take over with an absolute ground, absolute net ground lease. Now, if you don't know that term, if you know the term, you send the video, you know how to do it, good to go. But if you don't, listen up. What you can do is you can do something called a net ground lease, absolute net ground lease, master lease, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Basically, what you can do is you can go to a commercial uh, piece of real estate, the owner, and basically have a master lease. What this means is you essentially take over the entire spot and you run it as if you own it, but the owner owns it, right? But in this you know, absolute master lease, whatever you want to call it, the good thing about this is you can go lease this out to other tenants. You can go make money. You can go make profit from this and you get to keep all of the profit. Now with this, you can also do an option, right? A purchase clause where you have this option to execute, to purchase, to buy the building as well. So this is how you could get into commercial real estate with no money down, but you have to find a good deal. So you're gonna to have to find a property like this, right? Where the owner, let's say for example, they're across the state. They don't wanna manage it. They don't wanna deal with it. They don't want the headache of it. 
and maybe they also want to sell. So what you could do is you could basically get an absolute master lease. You take over the management, you have an option to purchase this, say within like a year, maybe two years. Now, here's the beautiful thing. You want to find a property that basically is like empty, half empty, right? Where there's some value add because this is how you're going to buy it with no money down because the banks, what they look for is NOI, net operating income. So if you find something that has low income, no income, guess what? You increase that income, you go to the bank, you basically get that appraised, right? And then you have your 20%, 25% down in the deal, wherever that is, and you cash out the seller. Now there's a lot of more things that go into it. Uh, that's overly simplifying the strategy. I mean, you have to make sure that it's gonna appraise, you have to make sure it's a good deal, the purchase is right, the opportunity is right. There's a billion things that go into it, uh, but that's a very general idea, a general strategy of finding a distressed property that's commercial. You get an absolute master net ground lease, whatever you wanna call it, take it over, manage it, get some tenants, go to a bank, cash out the seller. Now you got a property, commercial real estate, with basically, you could do no down. You could do zero down. Literally, you could put no money down. This has happened before, this happens. They may require you to put some money down, but all in all, that's a strategy. Well, I hope you liked it. Hey, again, I don't think you stuck around the end of this video, but if you did, hit the sub button. That's my Christmas wish. We're almost there to a thousand. I'll see you in the next video.